hello welcome back to this channel in this tutorial I will show you how you can use the ASDoc command to export your starter output results to a Word document and the ASDoc command is a command that creates tables that are or that can be edited and there are also tables that are of good quality and can be published as they are. And in this tutorial, I want to use the example data set that is in starter. And I am going to use the BPY dot data. So I click use. Now, before using the AS doc command, you have to ensure that it is already installed in your starter. And if not, Use the command ssc install as as doc. Then click click enter and wait for starter to verify if it is already installed or not. If not already installed, it will install it for you. If not, it will tell you that the file already exists, as in my case, since I have already. I have already installed it and now we can go straight to using the asdoc command now the asdoc command is used as a prefix to your starter commands for example if you want to export the summary statistic table or output just write as doc then your starter command as doc sum then click enter now you see we have we have the results here for our summary statistic and the the file or the word file document that the as doc has produced is given a default name my file dot doc so if you click here you see you find your results in a word document now you can see that you now have the summary statistics table or the descriptive statistics table in a word document now the as doc can be used together with a number of a or starter commands for example it can be used with the sum some command can be used with the tabulate, the regress, the correlate, and so on, and so on. But in this example or in this tutorial, I'm going to use the sum command to explain how this is done. After you have opened this document, always ensure that you close it. Since if, for example, you want to export another table to the same file it is going to give you an error message for example i already have this document open so if i tried to for example use the as doc call it you see starter gives a an error message so you have to ensure that you close the file document before proceeding to use the as command again as doc command can be used together with a number of options so you can provide options for the output that you will get for example you can use the replace or the appeared option if for example you want to to export a starter output a starter output if you want to export another starter output result to the same file but but ensure that the whatever is in the file remains you use the appeared the appeared option so you type as doc sum example with an with a starter command 
option then a peg however you if in case you do not provide the the AS dog uh, option a pad or whatever other option it assumes that you want to add to the, whatever is existing so it will assume the a pad option then you, you can check what we have how you see that we have added another table with a detailed summary statistics of, of our study variables however we may want to to replace what is already in the file or in the output file in that case we use the replace option for example we can say as doc then we want to get the summary statistics statistics for our bp before then we can use the replace option and in this case we are going to replace whatever is already in this file with what we are going to get in these results okay. then we can check what we have so now you see that we have eliminated whatever was in this file and replaced it with the new output Further, there are other options that can be used together with together with the asdoc command, and you must also note that the the, the setter commands options are, are used together with the asdoc command options. For example, as we have already done, you see, you can write as Doc. Then you want to find the detailed summary statistics for your variables. Then you write. Then you put a comma. Then detail. Then this is the starter command option. Then you can add the as doc command option. Replace. And if I see what we get so you see now we, we have the detailed summary statistics and we have replaced what we had in the previous or in this file so other options that can be used alongside the asdoc command are for example if you want to add a, a title for your for your table you can write as doc sum then title comma then title then into bracket you provide a name that you want to use for example you may decide to instead of descriptive statistics i use summary table as the title of the table that I'm going to get, then we we'll see what we we get. You see now, instead of the descriptive statistics title, we now have the summary table. So that is the option that you use to change the title name of your table. Also, you can decide that you want to carry along the command for that you have used. In that case, you are going to use the option CMD. So, for example, AS, AS, Dirk, Sum, BP, After, then, Detail, CMD and check what I get so you see that we have carried along the command that we have used this is the command that we have used to get these results so in case you are needed to show the command that you have used you can just use the cmd option 
further we may decide to abbreviate our variable names to maybe for example three letters so in that case you use the a a b b or abbreviate into bracket the number of letters that you want to use for example write a s doc a s doc sum then abbreviate then for example let us use three letters then click enter let's see if we have abbreviated now you see we have abbreviated our our letters to just or our variables to just three letters there are other options that that are not used really for all the starter commands for example we can we can decide the number of decimal points that we want to have in our results in that case use the command as doc for example sum then t comma deck into bracket specify the number of decimal points that you want you want to use for example in our case we can use two decimal points so if we specify this in our results all we are going to round off to two decimal points so let us click and see what we have So this is our, our result. You can see that the, the decimal points have been reduced to just two. Because if you check in the previous table, the decimal points were different for different variables. But in this case, it has been rounded off to two decimal points. However, you may, you may, you may notice that, for example, for the variable sets, the standard deviation value just have a only one decimal point this is because the 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 value that was supposed to come after was a zero so in case you want to ensure that the zero remains you can use another option as doc then sum decimals then specify you want to but to ensure that the zero remains you you add t z o k so this will ensure that even the the trailing zeros are added to the decimal points d and check what we have so now you see even if the the value here is zero it will it will be included it is that the default name or the, yes the default name of your file or the file that starter gives when you use the as doc is my file doc but you may want to change this name to a name of your choice in that case you can use the save option so you get a starter command as doc then as doc for example b sum bp after detail then save output so in this case we are going to get a file that has the name output instead of my file so you see that the file name now is different you can check so you see the name has changed to output now i hope you have found this information to be helpful and in case it is so please subscribe to, to my channel and also like the video and make sure that you share with your colleagues